Hey, uh, what's happening today? It's Friday, and uh, I'm actually just sitting here and getting ready to go for the day, and really excited about a lot of things that we've got going on with a couple deals that we're working on, one of which is under contract as of yesterday in Albuquerque, another of which we got an offer in on yesterday in Oklahoma City and uh we're thrilled um so you know it just i was thinking i was sitting here thinking and i was thinking about the difference between how i feel now about work and what i'm doing and purpose versus how i have felt pretty much my entire the entire rest of my life in the past um and for me it just came down to, or it's coming down to, like, finally having found something that challenges me in an appropriate, fulfilling way. It challenges the best in me and calls forth the best in me. Uh, gives me a space to step into that is different than any space that I've been in before and it calls forth a new way of being in myself uh, I believe so um, the difference between that and just grinding and working and setting goals and setting metrics and pushing and manipulating the system if you if you can figure out how to like there's so many different ways and and um, really inauthentic ways of being inside of our career and our purpose, I think. And I just, I feel more than anything really lucky to have found uh, this passion in apartment building investing specifically. And uh, I feel like I've worked really hard to get to this place of passion, get to this place of uh, excitement and um, confidence and specialized knowledge, um, some mastery over the space, over the, the language, the conceptual stuff. That all is super fun for me. And so it's easy for me to do 12 hour days, six days, five days a week. Um, now you guys see that I ski <laughs> and I usually take a couple hours uh, when I do, and I do that maybe once a week, twice a week during the during the week, uh, and I ski a little bit on weekends too. But uh, for the most part, I am up and at them early. Uh, these days, I'm up usually around four o'clock, four thirty, and I get at it. And I, you know, I'm I'm working out, um, meditating, and listening to YouTube videos, inspiring stuff, uh, listening to podcasts, and just generally uh, getting after it uh, early and winning the morning, uh, so to speak, so that uh, uh, I can win the rest of the day. Because I think if you win the morning, you can win the day. And if you don't win the morning, it's pretty dang tough. Uh, that's Hal Elrod uh, from The Miracle Morning, that concept. Uh, it's a great book. If you guys haven't checked that out, check out The Miracle Morning. Anyway, I, I hope that uh, maybe there's some inspiration here for you guys to chase your dreams a little bit, um, and maybe a lot. Maybe there's something that, uh, like a side hustle that you've been considering. Um, maybe you're thinking about getting into real estate. Maybe uh, you're thinking about starting a, a, a new business completely. Uh, maybe you're thinking about getting coached. Um, maybe you're thinking about taking a transformational course like Landmark Education. Um, maybe you're thinking about going to a Tony Robbins event. Um, who knows? There's so much transformational work that you can do. I actually believe that it starts with the physical, uh, meaning that the more that you take care of yourself, your health, your eating, your sleeping, your exercising, and specifically your, the health of your spine. People don't talk about that very much, but I'm a big believer in keeping your spine limber and, and healthy because uh, that really affects the way the rest of your body works and the rest of your brain works. So maybe we'll do an episode on that 
with uh, maybe Tim Goodwin or somebody that can really educate educate us on the uh, the the ins and outs of spinal maintenance. So uh, anyway, I hope you guys have a great day today, Friday. I hope you have some really cool Wednesday or, uh, weekend plans lined up, and uh, I hope that you guys are inspired and in uh, inspired action, and I hope that you have a good one.